Have you ever wondered why we can breathe, walk, talk, or have the energy to live? Well, it wouldn't have been possible without the efforts of a very special molecule within most living organisms, the PDC or pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. But where is this special molecule? It's located inside a human cell. Within each cell, we have mitochondria, also known as the powerhouse of the cell. And in the inner mitochondria matrix right there is where the PDC is located. So what does it do? Well, the PDC connects two metabolic processes and creates important molecules that are necessary for our bodies to function. It works like a car engine. Just as a car is given gas, the PDC is given fuel from the food that we eat to run our bodies. And it looks like this. Wait, just kidding. It actually looks like this. There are three important enzymes that make up the PDC. Pyruvate dehydrogenase, dihydrolipotransacetylase, and dihydrolipodehydrogenase. But they're a mouthful, so we just call them E1, E2, and E3. Within each PDC molecule, there are multiple copies of the E1, E2, and E3, which is why it looks so complex. The PDC works like a machine, so let's break it down. The cycle starts with a molecule called pyruvate. This is a molecule with three carbons and is produced in our bodies from sugar, specifically glucose. Pyruvate first interacts with the E1 subunit and undergoes two processes. First, a carbon dioxide is removed from pyruvate, forming a shorter molecule with two carbons. Next, it hands off the two carbon molecule made in the E1 subunit to the E2 subunit arm, which we call a lipoamide. At the E2 subunit, the products that were attached to the lipoamide arm are then transferred to coenzyme A, forming acetyl-CoA. Now the lipoamide arm has hydrogens that will need to be removed before the cycle can run again. The lipoamide arm is essentially reset when the hydrogens are transferred to an FAD molecule, making FADH2. Then hydrogens from the FADH2 molecule are transferred within the E3 subunit to an NAD+, forming NADH. This resets the FAD molecule and releases NADH as a byproduct. Have we lost you yet? Well, that's okay. It's a complicated process, but the most important fact is that these byproducts, acetyl-CoA and NADH, can then move on to other processes in the body where they're used to produce energy, also known as ATP. So the PDC helps us breathe, walk, talk, and live, but its ability to function efficiently can also help prevent some terrible diseases, such as lactic acidosis. This comes from the buildup of molecules that PDC breaks down. So the next time you're chowing down on a glazed donut, think of your good old pal, PDC, and all of the work it does to keep us alive.